Alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D Real coming at you with another B Real with D Real, where edutainment explains it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying my 10 days of Halloween, but it occurred to me I never gave y'all a video for day one or day four, I think it was. But you know what? It'll all come out in the wash. Don't even worry about that because we got more serious things to talk about. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Tony Hinchcliffe and his uh, remarks at the Trump rally in Madison Square Garden a night again. Yeah, we gonna talk about it. We definitely gonna talk about it. And I ain't even gonna waste no time with the BS. Let's do what we need to do so we can do what we want to do. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to be real with D Real page so that when new material comes out, you get it. If you dig in with a brother shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket, comment, and like, subscribe, and share because edutainment explains it. And we're going to be explaining this guy and his remarks. This is Tony Hinchcliffe. Uh, some of you may recognize him from his podcast, Kill Tony, or you may recognize him from uh, the Tom Brady celebrity roast where he just came in and roasted everybody. Anyways, the stand-up comedian took the stage in Madison Square Garden and hurled crap tons of insults, crap tons of insults, insults at Jews, insults at African-Americans, insults at Latinos. Latinos, among the Latinos and Puerto Ricans pissed at him include Bad Bunny, Lynn manuel Miranda, Ricky Martin, Jennifer Lopez, Sonny Hostin, John Leguizamo, Rosie Perez. They're all pissed at him. They're all pissed at what he said. He called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage in the ocean. Okay, now I hope it it, it it it's brought full circle and helps you to understand this man's motivation. First of all, first of all, his comedy hero is Don Rickles. Generation X, y'all know who Don Rickles is and you know what Don Rickles did as a comedian. Don Rickles did nothing but insult people. That's all he did. If you have ever watched Kill Tony, that's all Tony's doing too. He's insulting people. Now, my thing is he got a couple million followers on YouTube. Is it nobody knows who he is or celebrities don't know who he is? Politicians don't know who he is. Everybody from AOC to ASAP Rocky is not happy with this man's remarks. Now, While Tony Hinchcliffe's remarks were disrespectful, insensitive, and racist AF, they are not out of character for what this man does. Now, make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, I am by no stretch of the imagination trying to defend this gentleman um because i was done with the watermelon remark when he was talking to the guy out in the audience asking him about what he had on his head and was like oh yeah him and i are gonna go and carve watermelons later not even necessary you know what i'm saying um and that's a good way to get your butt whooped mr hinchcliffe i understand that's your Stock and trade. That's what you do as a comedian. However, even though you were in Madison Square Garden, you wasn't at a comedy show, bruh. 
So that's your brand. And who thought your brand of comedy was perfect for Trump? I guess what I should be saying to you, Mr. Hinchcliffe, probably is uh, you and your routine was probably the tipping point. Unless that's what he was really trying to do. I know he didn't think that was going to have a positive effect on the Trump campaign. Because now the Trump campaign ain't doing nothing but playing damage control. They trying to fix what he did. But you invited him to the rally. You vetted him. You said it was cool for him to be out there saying what he said. So in effect. Look a little deeper and say to yourself and understand what I'm saying to myself. Tony Hinchcliffe was nothing more than a tool. The conservatives, the Republicans, the, the pro-Trump people knew the kind of reaction. Hinchcliffe was going to get. They didn't know the kind of reaction Hinchcliffe was going to get. If you saw that celebrity roast with Tom Brady, he wasn't holding nothing back. He wasn't holding nothing back with women. He wasn't holding nothing back up against Jew with Jewish people. He wasn't holding nothing back with black people. Everybody could get it. Not cool at a rally. That's, that's all I'm saying. Any other time, any other night you be calling me any other night any other night it's fine to talk that way about everybody in a comedy setting i don't have no problem with that in a comedy set but and i really don't have a problem with it because it's him damaging them and by them i mean the Trump campaign. That's damaging to them. They're the ones who have to do damage control. Why are we upset? I mean, we're, I get the indignation and anger, but why ain't y'all like me saying, mm, mm, mm. he has definitely put the nail in the coffin of the Trump campaign. What's to that? The 20... Eighth. Six ain't far away. See what I'm saying? Let him do what he do when he does it. Not going to help him much. I mean, doesn't matter one way or another. He's a tool. He let himself be used as a tool. Maybe he was thinking, oh boy, now I'm going to get more subs. Now I'm going to get more likes. And he may. But I don't think the goal for Tony Hinchcliffe was to support and assist the Republican Party. I don't think that's what he was trying to do. Because clearly he didn't do it. And you telling me a man, well, I guess sharp wit doesn't equate into intelligence. Maybe he didn't know what he was doing. Maybe it was just a beautiful accident. Bottom line, what I'm saying is a man who idolizes Don Rickles, you should expect this from. A man who speaks publicly about women, children, disabled people, Blacks, the way a certain presidential candidate does should not surprise you either. So his people approving a speaker such as Tony Hinchcliffe should not shock y'all. Do y'all think this is going to turn out well 
for him. I mean, I think the only people who are ha- who 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 know the damage this really does is the people uh, directly involved in the Trump campaign. So, yeah, probably not a good move strategically. But hey, you're gonna see the fallout for a couple more days. Thank you, Tony Eastcliff. Uh, hope you don't run into any Puerto Rican people uh, 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 in your travels. Um, and when you go to vacation in Puerto Rico again, Mr. Hinchcliffe, and he said he vacations in Puerto Rico, I wonder what kind of reception you're going to get on your next trip there. Because I know people who ain't famous and got shot in Puerto Rico. You famous, semi-famous, YouTube famous, whatever you want to call it. It is what it is, though. That's what my man decided to do. Um, You can pick the sin, but you cannot pick the consequences. Uh, The whirlwind's coming. I hope it bodes well for you, sir. (laughs) That's it for now, y'all. But fret not, I'll be coming at you with another one of them other ones. And until I do, y'all be good. Be good to each other.